Hey guys, welcome to the Financial Forecaster. It's a beautiful day out here on the beach. Look at this, just absolutely beautiful. Today we're gonna cover over one of the most stable forms of income you can get in the stock market. You know what I'm talking about, right here baby. We got our utilities, we love them. All right, that's the Financial Forecaster guys. Let's get into it. <gasps> everybody to the financial forecaster what a week in stocks if you guys haven't been following the stocks getting calls from your everyone I don't know who I haven't been called about yet about what's been going on with GameStop what's been going on with Blackberry AMC the the Citadel all right let me run it down for you really quickly because I'm not super into it like everyone else in the way of fighting the system you know guys know on this channel, this isn't a channel, we're not playing options, we're not playing short term positions, this is a long term stock trading portfolio, and this is a long, long term view on what we're going to make money with. So, that in mind, what happened, hedge funds got very greedy, tried to, tried to bet too many times their stock going down, and it bit them very hard on the behind. Reddit got behind them, those uh, Wall Street bets guys, they, they caught them with their pants down, they got the shorts, and they rode that thing all the way up. Now, I'm a very skeptical investor when it comes to this thing. I've, if you've never heard buy the blood and sell the news, well, this is as much news as you can get. This is the news on a an epic scale. The whole world knows what's going on. So if you're just trying to get into GameStop or AMC or BlackBerry now, be careful. And you know why be careful? Because you're not the only one. Everyone knows. This is what we call now a crowded trade. Crowded trades are when people start getting FOMO, the fear of missing out. They start getting Tina. There is no alternative. You want to watch out for these kind of trades. You're not the smartest person in the stock market. The stock market will usually beat you right back down if you try to jump on a trend too late. This trend has been boiling up for weeks now, which in today's stock world has been years. So, as a man, Previously, I told you, I don't know, I'll put the video up somewhere here. BlackBerry, I had a large position, guys. It's gone. My whole BlackBerry position, I'm very happy. It was my very first position. It was a great value bet. I uh, put it in years and years ago. It very, you gotta look at the book value, the revenues. I was very happy with it. Over the years, it stagnated. So I'm out. I sold my position at 17, I sold my position at 20, and I sold the bulk of my position, over 50% of it, at 30. Not a single night sleep of lost. I'm not worried about missing out at 50, I'm not worried about it skyrocketing to 100, I'm not touching GameStop. All, you know, all the power to the people who are playing GameStop at AMC and BlackBerry. I hope you guys make the hedge funds squirm. But in this portfolio, and for all the people out there who are making a passive income, dividend, building for retirement, building a pension because you don't get a pension, because hey man, we're millennials and we got screwed out of our pensions. This is what we did. This is what I did, and I'm gonna tell you what I did. So what we're doing with BlackBerry, we sold out of the position. I've, I've got nothing. I liquidated all thousand shares that I've been accumulating over the last couple of years. Five years to be in fact. So I had about a thousand shares. I told you they're all gone. I turned $9,000 into $30,000. Excellent. Guys, if you're long term, this is why Warren Buffett says you'll have a, uh, even if you have a portfolio of 100, 200 stocks, doesn't matter how many positions you are on, Five will make you the most money. And thankfully, I made a very good pick for the news, for whatever this was that came up. I'm very happy that this was the pick because it was my largest position. But now I have zero dollars worth of it. So what do I do with all that capital? Do I throw it back into, uh, here, let me tell you this. If you're playing roulette and you hit a number and you make 32 times whatever you make, you make, your, you, you, make you turn $100 into $30,000. You're not just throwing it on another number. You're not just taking all of it and letting it ride again. You can, but it's astronomical, the, the odds that you would get it again. The risk you want is no risk at all at this point. You take your winnings, you put it somewhere and you have that money that you just made. It's just literally magic. You've, I've magically multiplied my money. Now I'm going to put it into stocks.
that are making me money back. So I took some of that money and immediately, because I can wait and time the market, and that would be great if, if I could grab it lower, but I'm already getting such great yields on some companies. So I took $5,000 of it, immediately plowed it into Fortis. Fortis, as you saw on the, the opening video, those large towers that bring electricity to everyone, those are money makers. They're gonna pay you out 5%. I just made 300, 400% on Blackberry, and now, that money that I just made out of nowhere is going to be paying me 5 to 6% compounding annually for the rest of my life. Excellent. Took another $5,000 of that right into Bank of Nova Scotia. Fantastic. That's a bank stock. One of the best regulated bank stocks in the world. A Canadian bank stock. Exposure to the international market. Again, great. Small payout ratio. High dividend. Great flow, strong company, perfect. I've bet my money I have like 5%, 10% risk, and that's it. If that dips down, I lock in a higher yield. Fortis dips down, I lock in a higher yield because these companies have very low risk. Took another five grand, shoved it into TELUS. I shoved it into TELUS. We have one of the biggest oligopoly communication stocks of all in Canada. It's going to lock me in another four to five percent and they're raising that oh my god tell us seven to ten percent a year for the next two years that capital growth plan plan along with the 5g capabilities coming up and whatever revenue streams they're going to get from telus international telus agriculture telus telus telehealth when they ipo these companies this company is going to break out as a parent company just like brookfield is doing fantastic now i have about $15,000 left to do. I could keep plugging that in. And you know what I'm gonna do? I am gonna keep plugging it in. I wanna tell you guys the stocks that I'm watching because this market is frothy and you know what? It could keep going up. But I just, I, I've already made my investment. I've already, I've already risked in it to keep going up. So I have a little bit of float. So I'm gonna watch to see if there is a crash. Their volatility is, if you haven't seen the VIX, you, Yes, you. If you don't know what the VIX is, because I've talked to people who have been investing for a year and they're like, what's the VIX? The volatility index. The higher the VIX is, anything over 30 is pretty high, getting higher, anything over 30, doesn't mean stocks can go up or down. It means the possibility of them going up or down is a lot higher and faster and quicker. It, volatility, if you don't know what volatility is, look it up. It goes from doing this, if the VIX is high, to doing this. That's your chance. When, those, when the times are volatile, you have, don't worry about one day. Worry about like a couple weeks. There's times where it's gonna be up or down and it's gonna whip up. So be careful, watch what you're doing, have an entry point, have a great, like have a plan going forward. So I've got a plan. You're, these are my stocks I'm looking at. Are you ready? Brookfield Infrastructure, huge, giant barrier of entry, great dividend, great company. Blackberry. If Blackberry drops back down to twelve, ten dollars, you can definitely. Cause the fundamentals of that company, I still believe in. So I will get back in if it's under ten. I don't know if it's going to get there, but I'm very happy that everyone made so much money on it. I made so much money on it, and I'm I'm glad. So Blackberry. I'm going to look them in. I have made two small speculative positions that had nothing to do with my Blackberry capital. But if you want to look them up, I'm going to be talking about them in my next video. I invested in XBC and TAAT, and I'm very excited about TAT. If you, if you guys don't know about TAT, don't worry, you'll know about TAT. But right now, this video is just to update everyone. Take profits, be careful. Once you lock in gain, once you take money off the table, that's yours. You've secured it, you've, you've taken it, it's, it's yours now. There's no more risk. Right now, the probability that some of these stocks could see wild swings in price, especially for inexperienced traders that don't <laughs> that just jumped on in the last couple of weeks because of GameStop and Reddit, be careful. Lock in profits. You have a long life ahead of you, and you can make this money work for you. So, Fortis, Telus, 
Bank of Nova Scotia. Fortis Telus and Bank of Nova Scotia. I've taken my profits from BlackBerry. I've put them in there. That money now will work for me for years at very low risk. I encourage you to do the same. I'm not a financial advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. I'm showing you my journey. Next video, we're gonna start covering TAT. We're gonna start covering XBC. We're gonna show my portfolio and where my holdings are. So guys, thanks for coming back to The Financial Forecaster. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're learning. I'm glad you're taking an interest in the stock market. Don't stop. Be careful, make money, let's get rich together. Please hit that like and subscribe. Really helping the channel, guys. Financial Forecaster out.